performs all over New York. Let's have a nice welcome for James Camacho, everybody. Let him hear it. Hey, what's up, y'all? Let me hear it, huh? Woo! Ah, I'm very excited uh, about life currently. I just quit smoking cigarettes. Woo! Yeah. It's a big expense. It's so expensive in New York to smoke. It's like fifteen dollars a pack. It's crazy. I feel like in New York you can almost tell how rich someone is based off their smoking habits. You know what I mean? Like, all someone's got another day. He's like, yeah, man, I smoke four packs a day. I was like, dude, I'm not a gold digger, but we should like hang out. <laughs> <laughs> I did quit smoke and I do feel so much healthier too. Like I went running this morning and I uh, felt amazing. So I think I'm gonna shoplift a lot more. I think that's my new addiction stealing. It's not that good. Um, I'm happy. My parents are happy too. My parents are furious when they when they find I smoke because I they they don't smoke. I remember when my mom found out, she was like, James, you're smoking? Why? I was like, I just wanna be cool. <laughs> but me and your dad don't smoke. Like I said, I uh, just want to be cool. <laughs> you know how my parents found out? My mom was going through my room one day and she found a pack of cigarettes. She didn't even confront me. She just took the pack of cigarettes, put them on the kitchen counter, and just left them there for a week. Like a public shaming. <laughs> That's what my mom does. Whenever she finds something in our room she doesn't like, she just puts it on the kitchen counter, leaves it there for a week. She found a hustler magazine in my room once. She put it on the kitchen counter. My dad's always like, holy shit, I thought I can't stop the scripture here. <laughs> Damn. She found a bong in my room once too, she didn't know what it was. She's like, James, what's that? I'm like, it's a science project. <laughs> and then I failed science that semester. She's like, James, your project's not good. I'm like, I know, it could be bigger. Right? <laughs> I wish it was bigger. <laughs> I was always a terrible student. I failed science every year. Um, I just graduated college. Thank God, I hate school so much. Thank God. Anyone else hate school? School sucks. It's the worst. You know how bad of a student I was? My teachers used to call on me when I didn't have my hand raised to answer questions. Just to fuck with me. That's so dumb. Like, if I don't have my hand raised, I don't know the answers to the questions. Right? We don't do that other parts of life. Some guy's choking. The guy's like, oh my God, does anyone else see PRs? I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. They're like, um, you went to hoodie and red eyes. <laughs> you come over, you're gonna be able to pay attention. <laughs> yeah, thank God it's over. I, uh, I, I graduated in May. I majored in English and theater, so I'm uh, still unemployed. <laughs> you got a job for me? I love a job. It's really hard to get a job as an English and theater major. I went on a job interview the other day. They're like, James, what kind of skills do you have? What can you offer us here? I was like, well, I majored in English and theater, so I uh, can speak English. <laughs> Oh yeah. He's like, oh, why do you want to work here? I was like, oh, I love McDonald's. It's not. <laughs> I grew up eating Big Macs. I feel at home here. Yeah, English and theater. What a weird combo. Anyone else? English theater? Anyone? Uh, communications. Communications? Oh, it's, it's kind of the same thing. <laughs> people think it's an easy major, too. People assume, like, if you're in English theater, any liberal arts major is just bullshit. It's like, oh, it's easy. It's possible. It's not. I remember one time my professor was like, James, this weekend you guys have to read the Great Expectations. You have to write a paper, it's due on Monday. You guys read the Great Expectations before? It's like 1,500 pages, right? I'm like, professor, these are pretty great expectations. <laughs> this is bullshit, actually. <laughs> and sometimes English majors can be weird. Like, I took an English class once. I was a partner with this guy. We got an A on this project. I was like, dude, I think me and you would make a pretty good team. He's like, well, what the fuck did you say? I was like, me and you would make a good team. He's like, dude, you gotta say you and I. <laughs> I was like, dude, no one and I gives a shit. <laughs> I did theater too. I like, like I'm an actor, so like I never really felt comfortable in any acting class I've taken because it's just me and a bunch of gay men. <laughs> yeah, I feel different, I feel weird, I feel kinda gay. You know? <laughs> I went to class recently, they were talking about me. They're like, Did you hear about James? What? I think he's straight. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Why we should kick his ass after class? He's <laughs> straight. <laughs> Thank you, this song. Very, 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 uh, left over here, very left over here. I drank a lot in college. I went to Rutgers, anyone from New Jersey by any chance? Yes. What part? Oh, wait, who is Ru over there, New Jersey? 
What part? Patterson. Patterson? Oh, that's not good part. It is. It is. It's good part. Are you guys from Jersey also? Bergen County? That's more white. That's like, that's white, right? That's like by the shore? Nice. I live in Edison. Tom's River. Tom's River? Nice. Oh, wow. That's, I knew it was smoke funny here in Jersey. <laughs> I went to Rock, you guys go to Rockers? Anyone go to Rockers here? Now, big party school Rockers. I uh, drank a lot. I gotta stop drinking. I still drink. I'm still in like party mode. I always lose stuff when I drink. Anyone else lose things? Yeah, one person, one person. I always I lose, I lose my phone, my wallet, my keys, my dignity. It's all that. And here's my problem I spend way too much money when I drink. I don't make a lot of money doing comedy. I make like $18 a year. You know? I, I literally spend 90, 900% of my money. <laughs> If that makes any sense when I go out drinking. I went out drinking last week, I looked at my credit card statement, I didn't remember any of the charges. I was reading like McDonald's twenty dollars, the bar for a hundred dollars, and this the strip club for six hundred dollars. And all I could think was, how the hell did I spend twenty dollars on McDonald's? How is that possible? Like, like I don't have any kids, you know? That doesn't make sense. You know, my friends like going clubbing, they're big like club guys, you know? I don't like, it's just too much going clubbing. I went clubbing the other day, $30 for an Uber to get to the club, then $20 cover charge, then it's a $10 coat check. We get in, my friends like, let's get a beer. I'm like, that's it, I'm out of money. You know? I went to the club recently with my friends, they didn't let me in, but you got sneakers on, you can't come in. Like, what are you talking about? He's like, that's not appropriate club attire. I'm like, I need sneakers to get hammered? <laughs> that's, that's proper attire to get blackout and sloppy? <laughs> sneakers. That makes no sense. If there's a proper attire to get, go to the club and get drunk, it should be a helmet and a bib. Right? <laughs> makes more sense. You get that protection and you gotta, you know, you want to throw it off together. <laughs> uh, I drink a lot. I drink too much. I have anxiety. Especially on dates. I was on a date with a girl recently and drank way too much during the date. Yeah. <laughs> this guy was talking about. <laughs> yeah, you know what happened? I went back to the girl's place. I was so drunk, I couldn't get it up. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, really good. Is that your lady right there? Oh, it is. Uh, does this happen all the time? Are you Irish, sir? <laughs> it sucks, right? You yeah. got, I got asshole friends. <laughs> <laughs> you know what my friend said? My friend was like, uh, next time that happens, you just gotta be honest with the girl. That's terrible advice, right? Like, how the hell is that gonna work out? I go on a date with a girl I don't drink. She's gonna be like, you don't drink, James? That's interesting. Like, no, just in case we fuck later. I'm just looking out for the future. That's what Sometimes, some people don't think that joke's funny. I get it. I did a show recently and did that joke. This girl's like, e that's bullshit. You know, because she probably felt worse you couldn't get it up because she felt unattractive. Oh. Yeah, I was like, what are you talking about? I had like 11 beers that night. <laughs> she was very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was the hottest she could have been. <laughs> Beer goggles, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I gotta get my act together. I'm, uh, you know, I'm in the real world now. Like I said, I just do comedy full time. My job, I'm so poor, man. I hate going to the bank. You guys hate going to the bank? <laughs> the upper west side, pretty rich area. I went to the bank the other day. I just, I know why I hate going to the bank because they just know how much of a loser I am. <laughs> they have the exact number. <laughs> I went there the other day. They were like, hey, slide your debit card. We'll pull up your account information. I was like, fuck that. We're going to do this anonymously, okay? <laughs> I'm embarrassing myself here. <laughs> I go on the road a lot. I like going on the road. I went to the Midwest recently. You learn a lot about the about the world when you, when you travel. I learned that the Midwest is uh, very white. <laughs> very white, yeah. I did a show there recently. Here's the thing, like, I'm Chinese and Puerto Rican. Right? That's why I look like a Chinese vampire. <laughs> <laughs> so I go do these shows for all these white people, right? I go, I'm Chinese and Puerto Rican. One guy goes, you're Filipino. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, how does that make sense? Because those an Asian plus Spanish equal Filipino? I'm going to my math problem? <laughs> Biology. <laughs> so I do these shows, right? They, have, they can't even believe like, what they're seeing. You know? I did the show once, all white people. I'm like, are there any eight, like Chinese people in this town? And one guy literally goes, I, I, I've seen them on TV. <laughs> so apparently people in the Midwest 
people of race are like fucking UFOs. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, I don't know, man. I am Chinese and Puerto Rican. It's definitely weird. Even my parents met in weird way. My parents met in college, but my dad was my mom's professor. <laughs> yeah. I was the extra credit guy. <laughs> yeah. Mom came for an A, she got a big fat D. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Weird family. Weird family. <laughs> Being mixed is really weird, man. Yeah. My mom, uh, very stereotypical. She was, uh, she always wanted me to be a straight A student. Like I said, I was that. I remember one day she sat me down and said, James, how come you can't get straight A's? I'm like, Mom, I'm only half shot days. <laughs> yeah. Half he wants to study, half he wants to soul <laughs> yes. oh, yeah. That hurts him. <laughs> I got like an old school dad too. My dad doesn't have a, a cell phone. Well, he has a cell phone. He has a Nokia brick. That's his phone. Yeah, people think he's a drug dealer. I'm kind of jealous that he has a shitty phone. I feel like there's less stress in life if you have a shitty phone, right? Like, I got an iPhone 6. I charge it like 11 times a day. My dad, Nokia, he never charges this. I think that's how a Nokia brick works. You get a one-time, lifetime guarantee charge. I go into a room, I don't even greet people, I just look for hours. <laughs> right? People are like, hi, James, shut the fuck up, I'm not like, <laughs> tough, yeah. And then there's no outlets in the room, I get pissed off and become entitled. I become like an architect, I'm like, alright, who the fuck made this room? <laughs> I could have done a better job, right? <laughs> Alright, thank you so much for Jason Monster.